टुडे वील बी टॉकिंग अबाउट द वीट स्टोन ब्रिज इनिशियली दिस ब्रिज वॉज मेड बाय सैम्यूल क्रिस्टी इन एटीन थर्टी थ्री ही इन्वेंटेड दिस ब्रिज बट इन एटीन फोर्टी थ्री सर चार्ल्स वीट स्टोन इम्प्रूवड इट सिंस देन इट इज कॉल्ड वीट स्टोन ब्रिज वीट स्टोन ब्रिज इज एन अरेंजमेंट ऑफ फोर रजिस्टर इन द फॉर्म ऑफ अ ब्रिज यूज फॉर मेजरिंग वन अनोन रजिस्टर इन टर्म्स ऑफ अदर थ्री नोन रजिस्टर दिस इज अ वेरी पॉपुलर सर्किट ऑफ अ वीट स्टोन ब्रिज वेयर द फोर आर्म्स ऑफ अ कॉर्डिलेटरल कंसिस्ट ऑफ रजिस्टेंसेस विच आर रिजेंबल विद एल्फाबेट्स पी क्यू R S P Q R S are the arms of the quadrilateral which are representing the resistances of different magnitudes across one diagonal there is a galvanometer and across another diagonal of the quadrilateral there is a source of EMF when the current through galvanometer is zero then it is popularly called as null point state then the ratio of p by q is equals to r by s and when current through galvanometer is zero then in electricity it is said that potential at point b and d are at same magnitude it gives precise value of unknown resistor because at null point state the internal resistance of the cell and galvanometer is not counted at all a wheat stone bridge circuit consists of four arms of which two arm consist of known resistance while the other two arms consist of an unknown resistance whereas a variable resistance is connected across the fourth arm the circuit is also consist of a galvanometer and electromotive force source a wheat stone bridge is an electrical circuit used to measure an unknown electrical resistance by balancing two legs of a bridge circuit one leg of which includes the unknown component the primary benefit of this circuit is its ability to provide extremely accurate measurement the application of the wheatstone bridge is that it measures low resistance more precisely by comparison method it calibrates instrument like voltmeter and ammeter it can be used to measure the capacitance impedance and inductance of a body it is used to interface various transducers and sensors to the amplifier circuit it is also used to measure the temperature through platinum resistance thermometer this diagram shows that one arm of the uh, wheat stone bridge consist of active strain gauge and this wheat stone bridge is used to measure the strain this particular diagram circuit diagram also includes wheat stone bridge which is used as light detector this was a primary circuit of the wheat stone bridge which was consisting of four resistances on the arms of the quadrilateral p q r s these alphabets represents the resistance and across one diagonal you will observe that there is a galvanometer and across another diagonal you will observe the source of emf now to show the principle of wheatstone bridge we apply kirchhoff's rule in the mesh 1 and in the mesh 2 in the mesh 1 this is clockwise so the equation becomes p i minus i1 plus i2 g minus i1 r is equals to 0 in the mesh 2 the equation 
on applying a mass rule becomes minus i to g plus i minus i1 minus i2 into q minus i1 plus i2 into s is equals to 0. Now, in the balancing state, the current through galvanometer is 0. This is a principle and null point method. In the balancing state, I2 is equals to 0. When we put this value of I2 in first and second equation, we get PI minus I1 plus 0 minus I1 R is equals to 0. In the second equation, when we apply, we get 0 plus I2 is again 0 here. It becomes I minus I1 into Q minus I2 is again 0 here. So it becomes I1S is equals to 0. We again rearrange this equation and it becomes I minus I1, I1R, I minus I1 into Q is equals to I1S. On comparing, we get P by Q is equals to R by S and this is when I2 is equals to 0. Now we move on to the very important application of uh, Wheatstone Bridge. This is called meter bridge. The name meter bridge is said so because one meter of wire is used. This plank which you can see here is consisting of these thick strips the purpose of the thick strip is that as the area of cross section is more, resistance is less. This particular 1 meter wire is made up of constant or magnet. Why it is constant or magnet? It's an alloy. It has got two very important properties. Number one is that it is highly resistive material. And number two, as the temperature increases, its resistance remains almost same. That is, its temperature coefficient is very, very low. Now we are going to measure the value of unknown resistance by using meter bridge whose principle is based on balanced Wheatstone bridge. As I told you earlier that this meter bridge is having two gaps Across one gap, there is a known resistance and across another gap, there is unknown resistance. Now, the rest of the two resistances, R and S, are actually measured from the wire. Now, when I touch, when I touch on my left, then you will observe that needle goes to your left. When I touch on the extreme right, then you will observe that needle goes to your right. Now in between these two points, there is a point where the galvanometer will show zero reading. It means the current across this point is zero. When it is zero, it means that it is a balanced state condition and it gives a very precise value of the unknown resistance because the internal resistance of the cell and the galvanometer is not counted. Now, the length calculated from the left is 95. And when it is subtracted from 100, from the right, it is 5. And so, P upon Q is equals to R upon S. After getting a null point, we apply the balanced Wheatstone bridge formula that is P by Q is equals to R by S. The S arm we have taken as unknown resistance which is equals to Q upon P into R. Q is representing the length of the meter bridge wire and P is also representing the length of the meter bridge wire. 
in order to determine the resistance of this meter bridge wire each length is then multiplied by small r which represents resistance per unit length of meter bridge and then we get a formula 100 minus l upon l into r that is the value of unknown resistance thank you